maybe two weeks before I was going to Kenya for the first time. Uh, it was a car that crashed into the back and my neck flew so I got a whiplash. Yeah. And then yesterday it was gone. And my neck has been uh, painful for six years. Woken up with pain, have had to sleep with the pillows that are uh, adapted to it. And uh, when I sit and sew and eat, I can sit maybe 10 minutes. And my neck, but now it's fine. I can do it. I came in front and I knelt down here. So come here from and so knelt and knelt and started praying for my ear. Or both for ear. Then after, yeah, after some time, I felt a cold wind go inside my ear. Or after a few minutes, I felt a cold wind come over ear. Yeah, then I thought, yeah, I think something has happened, but uh, I'm not sure. But uh, I feel like I'm finished with the prayer. <laughs> So I felt that was that. And then, uh, and when uh, after when we went home, because I I was really feeling that something has happened to my ear. I don't feel like I don't feel normal. I felt that was normal. What was normal? Look at how the shirt was there. Then when we went home, we I tried to to call her on on cell phone to make sure I I feel okay because from before I haven't been able to use my cell phone on this ear. För tidigare så kunde jag inte använda mobiltelefon på detta öra, så jag prövade att ringa kona mig med telefon på det här öra. And then when I called, it was like I'm feeling, I'm, I'm hearing much better in this one now than this one. This before I had a problem in my ear too, but not my ear, my eye. Then uh, yeah, it got it. So yeah, what is good? So we're not going to try to get 